Hello everyone, thank you very much for being here. My name is Talia Anagnostu and I'm a Chief Customer Officer at Adinsoft for Excelstat. Um, I don't know if you have already watched my uh, webinars, but I give one every two, three months. And this is the first time I'm giving an a F F AQ webinar. And the idea behind this session was to reply to most asked questions by Excelstat users like yourself. So um, I am in contact with Excelstat users almost every day and sometimes the same questions come up. So I thought, why don't we gather them all together and then uh, share the answers and thoughts during this webinar. At the first part, I'm going to um, give the answers for some questions you have already asked, but then in the meantime, please share anything that comes to your mind in terms of Excel stat in the um, um, questions chat box of the got webinar and then at the end I will try to answer either all of them or um, most of them and if there are lots of questions which haven't been answered till the end then we will have a second session within the next few weeks an overview of uh, Excel Stat. So it's um, add-on for Microsoft Excel. It comes as a ribbon in the Excel Stat interface. There are more than 250 features for any need, any taste, from describing data to um, modeling, regression models, linear, nonlinear, machine learning, clustering, hypothesis testing, but also more field oriented features for forecasting time series, uh, sensory data analysis, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so uh, let's start with the um, uh, first question um, I received from uh, one of you. Can my institute lease with you for organized tutorial for researchers of my institute? What are the terms and conditions? Uh, thank you for your uh, question. If by tutorial you mean uh, an online webinar, uh, a course, then yes, this is uh, possible. We do organize tailored uh, online tutorials for uh, small or uh, bigger groups. And uh, terms and conditions really depend on, the, on your needs or what you would like uh, us to include in this tutorial. Um, so yeah, price and duration really uh, depends on the um, client's expectations. And if you do have such a request, then the best way to go uh, forward is send us an email at training at excelstat.com, describe your, um, your needs and your expectations, and then we will come back to you with um, a proposal. Second question, uh, could you please show an example for the multivariate ANOVA? Um, just to mention that ANOVA is one of the um, top features in Excel stat. So it's really, really used uh, in um, any kind of field. Uh, so about multivariate ANOVA, I'm just going to show you a simple example. So this is a, a data set which is composed by three factors. So we are going to run a three-way ANOVA, but for your information, you can use as many factors as you want in Excel Stat ANOVA. And we also have two response variables. So imagine you have a, a single response variable, a single um, a variable to explain, then Exostat will run a single ANOVA and in, in this case Exostat will give the results of two separate ANOVAs. So it will run uh, one model per response variable. If you do believe that your dependent variables are, uh, they have um, a sort of, of link, 
then it's better to opt for the MANOVA. But now let's stick with uh, another example. Now this is the, the, the dialog box and as in every Excel start interface, we start with a general tab. This is where everything uh, happens, where we select the variables. In the uh, dependent variable quantitative uh, field, um, I'm going to select columns uh, D and E, but we could also um, go for a single dependent variable. I'm going to select both to show you at the very end uh, a nice summary table. Since we deal with uh, the ANOVA method, we have um, qualitative uh, factors. If you have qualitative and quantitative factors, so a mix of both, then the dialog box will automatically convert to the uncover method. But in this case, I only have qualitative ones. So don't be confused, even if assessor, product, and session factors contain numerical variables, they are still qualitative factors. So this is done here. I'm not going to configure the right part. I'm going to leave by default this option. So that means that Excel Start will generate a new sheet with the results. I don't have observation labels or observation regression waves or groups. This is a um, quite new uh, option. For, for example, if you have a demographic variable uh, like male, female, then Excel Start will uh, split the data set into two and will, will run an ANOVA for male and another ANOVA for uh, male. In the options tab, a um, couple of interesting options. So we can add uh, interactions if we want, for example, to study the effect of um, the interaction between assessor and product, then this is the right way to uh, enable these options. And imagine we have more than um, 10 explanatory variables. Uh, this is a quite handy option to use if you want Excelstat to decide which are the, 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 the variables which describe the best the uh, variability of the response variable. But here I'm going to include the um, entire set of factors, so no need to um, do some uh, variable selection. And the rest of the tabs, well, here we select the constraints, we can add nested or random effects, and we can uh, even fix uh, heteroskedasticity uh, problems. We can run a validation, so we can split the data set um, between a training and um, a, a training and a, um, a prediction set. We can decide to remove observations with missing data or to replace them by uh, mean or using the nearest neighbor algorithm. And in the outputs tab, this is where we decide which result to display in the report. Uh, most of the times when one runs an ANOVA, um, also runs post hoc test. So if we uh, realize that there is a significant uh, effect for a product, then we may want to know, well, um, uh, if there are, for example, two products with a significant difference. So this is where we need to activate the pairwise comparisons. All right, um, and other uh, tabs, charts. So let's click OK and see what it gives. Since the moment we activate the interactions, Excelstat will pop up a second window before launching the computations, which asks um, how many factors and interactions we want to include. So let's say we want assessor product and the interaction between assessor and product. So I click OK. 